my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw 3D flower in Adobe Illustrator. I have uh, about 10 or 15 tutorials with 3D uh, option of Adobe Illustrator, but today I want to show you it uh, because uh, in Adobe Illustrator there is a new uh, function with uh, 3D and I wanted to show it to you. And guys, before we start to draw our 3D flower, I want to invite you to my Instagram page where I'm talking about not only graphic design, but as well about my life in Montenegro. And if you want to know about me a little more than just my graphic design life, uh, then come to my Instagram page. And as well, I want to invite you to my Telegram page where I'm talking about only graphic design. And as well, on my Telegram, there is a chat where designers can talk with each other. Okay, guys, waiting for you on my Instagram page or on my Telegram channel. And now let's start to draw the flower. And today we will take that flower flat illustration and we'll make that cute 3D flower. And if you're interested, then keep watching. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I used in this tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look and to download an original vector file with colors and my design and to support my channel, you can go to my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw the flower. Hope your workspace is ready and colors already in the swatches panel. Let's take that pink color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse like this. Take direct selection tool, select that point, move it down. Now go to effect, distort and transform, free distort. And now you need to move that point here and this one here. Okay object expand appearance now direct selection tool move that point down you can make it a little wider take that red color and we need to take pen tool and draw here the line escape change field to stroke and take that brush. You can stay it like this or you can make it thinner, for example, 0 0.7. And let's create one more line, the same brush and 0 0.7. And one more time here. And the same brush and the same size. Okay. Now let's select the leaf and object expand appearance. Select again. Hold ALT and make two copies. Select this one and bring to front. Now here we need to change the colors and group this and this and this leaf. Now we need to rotate this and that leaf like that. Now take dark blue color and ellipse tool, create the ellipse like this. Take rectangle tool we need to cut off the part of the ellipse, move like this, select both shapes, Pathfinder, Intersect, and put here. Move the leaves a little. Okay. 
Now uh, select the shape, effect, warp, arc, upper. 36% horizontal. Object, expand appearance. Okay. Uh, now let's take a dark red color and pen tool, create here the shape like this, change fill to stroke, the brush and the size let it be 0 0.7 and now let's rotate it a little like that okay send to back and dark blue color and ellipse tool of course without stroke you can make it a little bigger and put here Select that shape, shape, object, expand appearance, and now um, group. Now transform, reflect, vertical copy, move here, and send both shapes to back. Okay, let's rotate it a little like that. Now we need dark blue color and Let's rotate that flower a little and we need dark blue color in the stroke and we need to take pen tool and create here one more shape of the flower. That brush, but we need to make it a little wider, let it be uh, two or 1.7 send to back ok and now we need to create only two leaves and now we need to take the same color and ellipse tool make it smaller take that point and move it a little down distort and transform and Redistort, move these points like this, object expand appearance. And now let's take blue color and pencil, draw here the line. Change stroke to fill, fill to stroke, sorry. Um, Okay, the size here, here 0 0.8, move here, rotate a little, oh, move a little up, now uh, you can select it and uh, make the copy. Let's rotate it and uh, let's reflect it. Vertical OK, rotate and put it here. It's ready. Now select the whole design, object, expand appearance, object, expand and group. It's very important here, you need to group the flower. Okay, now let's open the window, 
3D and materials. Okay. And now we need to select the flower and go with me here step by step to create a 3D flower. There is no one rule to take um, options and to make 3D icon. You always need to play with uh, options till you would like the result. So here you need to go with me step by step to create my uh, option of the flower, but you can play and uh, create your own vision of a 3D flower. And here I want to show you the new feature here. Here you can now move the slider here to change the lighting of your 3D object. So you can move it here till you would like the result. And if you, uh, for example, um, uh, still don't like the result, you always can change uh, it in the options uh, below. And as well, you can add here uh, the second light. I don't add here the second light, uh, but uh, if you want, you can try to play with that option. And I want to make some ed edits to their lighting, so I um, make here my own options to make it more uh, cuter and softer. And now let's um, change here intensity and add uh, the shadow. And make here little different options. Okay guys, the flower is ready, it's pretty pretty cute and it's so 3D. Uh, okay, now you can close the window 3D and materials, you can take that color for the background and you can stay the flower just like this. Okay, uh, and as well if you want to make the composition go to object expand appearance and now you can uh, make it a little bigger and don't afraid that something will be wrong you make uh, some copies of the flower and you can add one more flower here for example and for example one more flower you can add in that place and if you want to hide all elements beyond the artboard you need to create the rectangle as your artboard uh, select the whole design ctrl a and make clipping mask and 3d flower is ready that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design see you guys bye bye